The economic environment was disrupted by back-to-back -back devastation caused by hurricanes Harvey and Irma. With more businesses closing to ride out the hurricanes, even Disney World, the Federal Reserve will more than likely hold interest rates intact for the rest of the year. Hurricane Irma made its way up Florida's coast following Hurricane Harvey that hit Texas and Louisiana the hardest. Fed officials in their most recent projections had indicated one more rate hike this year on top of the two that they had already approved in March and June. But weak inflation data have led to vague statements from Fed speakers, leading market participants to believe the next hike won't happen well into 2018. But it now appears that the impact of these hurricanes have sealed the deal. The rebuilding efforts following the storms will boost economic activity in the long run but the short term has been devastating, especially to small business owners in the path of the hurricane. Beyond the hurricanes, there are other factors standing in the way of a rate hike this year. One factor is the uncertainty over who the next Fed chair will be. The insurance firms will take a huge hit in earnings this year, primarily due to the storms, along with the airlines that fly to and from the hardest hit areas, especially Florida. Hotels, car rentals, and peripheral industries can take a loss as well. As we have fared these storms in the past and will again, it will still have an immediate impact on rates as we've already watched right after the storms hit. Now, for minding your own business. Garage and yard sales happen all year long, but there's usually more in the spring and again in the fall. Now, how is this a marketing idea for a real estate agent and how can you capitalize? Just think, you have a seller about to move because he just sold their home. You offer to help them out with a yard sale. You help them market this event. You get in there and participate in the sale or even have a root beer float table for everyone that comes to the yard sale, all the neighbors. Now just think how appreciative your clients are gonna be for the help, but in addition, all of the new leads you might gain from the people showing up. The neighbors come, talk to you about selling their home as well. Hey, this is a, one of those clever ways to generate a few leads. Doesn't cost too much to do and goes a long way in appreciation. Well, that's this week's Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me again. Have a great week.